pitiful. Fucking pitiful. We look like ass on offense from start to finish. There might have been two two moments, two drives where our offense was looking pretty good. And it was mainly because of the run game, not the passing. All right. <clears throat> Defense, we gave up a couple big plays, which led to points. But in all actuality, I feel like the defense played pretty good. Definitely could have been better, of course. I mean, but with them being on the field so much throughout the game, offense just going three and out and shit, not giving them no time to rest, giving LSU good field position, and then they held LSU and forced them to do five <clears throat> field goals. I feel like the defense did good because all his field goals were like 30-something yards, 20-something yards, which means the line of scrimmage was inside the 20s, which means it's inside the red zone. And then we held them to field goals five times. It could have been a lot worse if the defense played a lot worse. I'm not satisfied with DeAndre Swift. They say he's supposed to be healthy now, so I don't see no excuse on why he's not producing. I am satisfied with Holyfield, just not satisfied with the amount of touches he's getting. Jake from now look, if you've watched my videos or if you've debated with me on Facebook, you know I'm not even a Fromm fan, but, and I'm not going to throw him under the bus and just call him trash or anything because of this game, because I mean, he's not trash. He definitely was trash today, but he's not trash. But I feel like... I mean, it's time to see Fields in the game. I mean, I know people talking all this stuff, reporters and other fans are saying, you know, Kirby and them, they're in the practices every day. They get to see everything. <clears throat> so obviously they, they see something or they don't see something, which is why they're not putting Fields in those type of positions, which is cool. Maybe that's true. But everything they see of Justin Fields, especially when it comes to passing, is in practice. You know, it's not in no game. I feel like they need to definitely put him in there and let let us see what he can do. Giving him a chance because in all actuality, with the way Fromm's been playing this year, especially with first halves in the games, it's nothing special, and we're not contenders. I said about two, three weeks ago, after the Mizzou game, I said we're not contenders. After the way we're playing, we're not contenders. And you can go ahead and question my fan, my fandom, and if I'm a real fan or whatever, if you want to. That's on you. I don't care. Whether you think I'm a real fan or not, ain't got shit to do with me, okay? I'm a realist at the same time as being a fan. All right? I predict the Georgia to go 12 and 0 this year. That's not happening, which I'm cool with that. This LSU loss, it's bad the way we lost. That's what got me so heated, is the way we lost. I would have been so much cooler with a close game loss, but why would we fake a field goal to Hot Rod? I mean, I honestly don't have a problem with it, but I just don't understand the logic. d Rob should have had that touchdown. Jake Fromm underthrew him. And I don't care what none of you guys say. If you want to say he didn't underthrow him and this and that, blah, blah, d Rob bobbled it. He underthrew him, okay? D. Rob had a all open field in front of him for a touchdown. Jake Fromm could have just threw that bitch, threw it ahead of it, ahead of him, and let it land, land in his hands in stride, and that would have been a touchdown. <clears throat> Offensive line held up today, so there's no excuse for that for, for for Jake Fromm when it comes to that. He held the ball too long, too many times. Took the sacks he didn't need. Riley really should have had the ball. A whole lot more. He should have had way more targets from the very beginning. I don't know. I understand why Riley really was frustrated. Because I was frustrated. He needs the ball. He needs the ball. Quit trying to give it to McCole Harmon. I understand McCole Harmon's a playmaker. I understand that. But we got a wide receiver out here that's a real wide receiver. Give him the fucking ball. 
But it's all right. We took a loss last year to Auburn. We looked really bad in that loss. And then we went on, won the SEC, won the Rose Bowl, and fell short in the national championship. This loss don't mean our season's over with. We get a bye week, beat up on Florida, beat up on Kentucky, beat up on Auburn, <clears throat> beat up on fucking Georgia Tech, beat up on UMass and shit, go to the SEC championship, and if we win that, we're in. Point blank, period. Depending on how the season plays out, no, if we lose another game, we're done. So, we just got to win out. That's all we got to do. And it's not impossible. I don't care when, I don't care what people say. We could, we could come out after this game. I, I mean, look, before the game, I was nervous. I, look, I was taking bets because they're my dogs. I'm going to bet on my dogs no matter what. But I was definitely nervous. And I told people I was nervous, all right? And I mean, I still thought we was gonna win, but something in my gut was just making me nervous. But we needed that. We needed that. Knock everyone back down to earth. Humble everyone. Let this team know that they are not the team from last year. Let this team know that they have to prove that they are contenders. And I believe we're gonna bounce back. I believe we're gonna, look, Florida, Florida, Florida. I feel bad for y'all, okay? Because y'all season's looking real nice. Y'all knocked off LSU. Now y'all looking to knock us off. Blase, blase. But after the way we just got our ass whooped, y'all are in for a bad, bad, bad day on October 27th. But good game to LSU. I wish we would be able to see y'all again in December, but I doubt that's going to happen because even though y'all beat the fuck out of us, I still feel like y'all ain't contenders. You're a good team, but that's about it. We just didn't show up today, and we got outplayed. But don't see, don't expect to see that shit happen again with Georgia, y'all. Go dogs.